blades their peril to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons, the Transformers. The Transformers. So far, we're right on schedule. Pretty soon, these energy disks will start tapping power from the Earth's magnetic field, and we'll have all the heat and electricity we need. Hey, I didn't send for more equipment! Did you hear me? I said! I... There's nobody driving. Right! No one drives us, stupid human! We are the Constructicons! We drive ourselves! They're stealing the energy disk! Stop them! How many, Spike? Looks like just one, Dad. One's one too many when it's Megatron. Let's see how he likes my new shock blast cannon. That's a shock, all right. Too much lip wheel, Jack. Not enough action. Since when have you decided to make yourself a target without fighting back, Megatron? I have come to talk, not fight Optimus Prime! Autobots, hold your fire! Very well. Speak, Megatron. 
I come about a matter of Cybertron law, Optimus Prime. Our war has gone on for millions of years. Decepticons fighting Autobots, in which opposing leaders, you and I, Optimus Prime, may do battle. The loser must exile himself and his army to deep space for eternity. The winner may stay where he chooses. Do you have the courage for that? I don't trust him, Optimus. But it would end the war. And you can take him, Optimus. You're the best. Also, it is the law of our native planet. Very well. I accept the challenge. Somehow I felt you would, Optimus Prime. You have such a strong sense of honor. Your invention is completed, Scrapper, and we are ready. So proceed with the strength transfer. As you order, Master Megatron. Now, Decepticons, each of you must contribute a power chip rectifier to the exchange furnace. But I need my power chip rectifier. Besides, the Cybertron Code of Combat requires each warrior to fight as he is, without additional reinforcement. You wouldn't want to cheat, would you, Megatron? I will win by any means, at any cost! Even if it means terminating you, Starscream! I was only raising a legal point. <laughs> I am not concerned with technicalities. Only victory interests me. A critical temperature has been achieved, Megatron. Then let the strength transfer begin. Yes, more, more. Give me all your power. Strength transfer is a success. I now possess all your powers, in addition to my own. Optimus Prime and the Autobots are finished! <laughs> the strength of all my Decepticons! The Autobots computer, Teletran 1. If it detects your deception, it will alert Optimus Prime. It won't! Scrapper, you and the others have your orders. Constructicons, transform! <laughs> While all the Autobots are assembled to watch my combat with Optimus Prime, my Constructicons will tunnel their way beneath those headquarters. Then enter the control room and destroy Teletran 1! <laughs> Optimus Prime won't know what hit him! <laughs> I'm still not crazy about this combat deal, Optimus. Uh, we all know how tricky Megatron can be. I mean, they don't call those creeps Decepticons for nothing. The code specifies a fair battle, Spike. Under those rules, I'm confident I can beat Megatron. Besides, if he does not abide by the rules, Teletran 1 will tell us. The time for the battle approaches. Autobots, transform! Question, Ironhide? Hail Optimus Prime! And welcome 
to defeat! Defeat, Megatron? But our battle has not yet begun. As soon as our respective armies take their places, we shall correct that oversight! Remember the law, Megatron. This battle is between you and me, alone and unaided. Doesn't this remind you of the gladiatorial combats in ancient Rome? Maybe it would, if I knew what you were talking about. It's Earth history, Ironhide. Skip it. <laughs> One-to-one -one combat, Megatron. With the vanquished and his army exiled to deep space forever! Still functional, but barely. Uh, my fault. Underestimated Megatron. Never suspected he had so many powers. I was not prepared. Well, I'm prepared to knock those deceptive bums all the way back to Cybertron. <laughs> no. Megatron has beaten me according to Cybertron law. To violate that law would destroy our honor. We will comply and leave this Earth forever. Oh, As yeah. you command, Optimus. We'll need Teletran 1 to diagnose all his damage. Optimus, can you transform? I'll try. Optimus save some of his strength on the way back. Let me take that load, Optimus. 
You're a true friend, Huffer. Autobots, roll out! Perhaps for the last time. We will accompany them back to their headquarters to make certain noble Optimus Prime keeps his word. Now, the Autobot computer, Teletran 1, is just beyond this cavern ceiling. We'll have to blast through. Mixmaster, we need acid. Okay, uh, let's mix up some uh, uh, H2SO4 with uh, was that HCl with it. I know. I'll combine some of each of the stronger acids. the mechanical line. Better, even. But I still don't understand where Megatron got enough strength to whip him. I do. I just had Teletran 1 do an energy scan on Optimus damaged parts and... See for yourselves. Of course. Somehow Megatron used the powers of all the other Decepticons. Then, then Megatron cheated, and we can ignore the agreement with him. Right, Optimus? That is affirmative. Autobots, the time has come to fight back. <laughs> Nothing defeats the Devastator. Nothing. Nothing, little one. <laughs> What would you say about me? <laughs> now, before he realizes what is happening... Giant on 
know what was a holographic illusion? It wasn't real! No, but we are! No, Megatron! You will not have to fight all Autobot powers at once. Just me! It is ended. Is it really over, Optimus? I mean, have we seen the end of this war forever? Who can say, Spike? In this vast universe, is anything truly forever? <sighs>